coming at you live. Uh, whoop, whoop. Live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the uh, Wednesday night toy division chat. I hope everyone is well. How are you guys? You guys all right? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm just looking at the comments, and I think it is just that. Well, I'm very small, but Aaron uh, Dan is a behemoth. I'm six foot four. I don't think that's uh, freakish. <laughs> It's pretty tall. <laughs> I guess. I guess it's quite tall. But yeah, you know, basically, Kieran, if it's the 90th minute and you're one nil down, you're sending Dan up for the corner. He's ahead on the stick. <laughs> Bringing in Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone doing? Toy Scavenger, hello, mate. How are you doing? No, he is very tall. <laughs> I'd, I'd be, I'd be heels on. Come on, like, like, we are, I, I am quite sure. But that now you probably know why we call him like like the grabber. The reach. The reach. Because because not only has he got long arms, he's so tall that he can sort of go over and just I like I like yeah. to think of myself as a um as a slender man style character, but I think the guy see me more as the wacky waving inflatable arm man guy from uh... <laughs> <laughs> Even Smugglers, how you doing? Ricey, Rick, how you doing? Carlos, hello mate. Stormy T, Kieran, evening mate, Brad, hello. That's a huge thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Viking, Andy, nice to see you on Saturday, my friend. I hope mm. you're well. I hope you had a good birthday I've, yesterday. I've just followed ah. you back. I, I apologise that I hadn't on Instagram, but I have Toy, just now. London Toy Shop, how you doing? Pete, how you doing, mate? Great seeing you at the weekend. Uh, did you find anything on Sunday? Because it was bare. The girls you saved, back, Vic. You saved me on Sunday, Aaron. That was a good show. Yeah, it won't. Thing is, thing is, it it, it grew, but they mm. they did a really cheeky thing where they they basically put like the middle row as just one line of cars. Yeah, yeah so it's more rows, but it's down. not doubled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but no, it was bleak. I think if it wasn't for Terry, I would have been crying. Yeah. I imagine this week we're the same. Yeah, I think the weather. It rains, yeah. Dark Larkin, how you doing? But Darren, we might, how you doing? Us, we might even go to a t -t -t toy fair. Yeah, maybe. Well, two of us, two of you will. Grant, how you doing, kids, my friend? That's cool kids with the real jobs. Wait, I want a real job. How, how do you retrain at my age? What can I do? Anything you like, mate. Anything you put your mind to it. I really want to be a stripper. If you believe you deserve it, the universe will serve it. <laughs> I don't mean I could do the flight of the thigh grab on the pole. I'd probably just face plant. <laughs> like, I'd like to see you try. I'll buy that for a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> yes, Vic had an awesome live stream over on Super Sorrel's chat last night. That was awesome. I, mean, I caught the end of it. I, I don't know what I, I time lapsed, but yeah, I caught the ending. I will I will rewatch it at some point. I didn't watch it last night. I was too... Uh, I was too pumped by uh, by sporting things. I wasn't. I don't care about football, but I was actually in bed by about. Well, time. that is a that is a very uh, very important thing because it's coming home. Well, Even I get it. I want to know where the, I want to know where it was made because normally these these trophies are made in France, so it's definitely not going home. It's definitely coming home. Football's coming home. I mean, I, this, this I don't know. To me, such a meaningless statement, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, saw, um, I saw a funny little uh, like um, meme thing. It was like you know, like when um, Phoebe's trying to teach Joey French. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's, like, Fe England, Fe England, yeah. will always disappoint you. Will always yeah, yeah. disappoint you. England will always disappoint you. It's coming. Home. It's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a. Um, it was a. Uh, it was a great game last night. I don't think it was great. I mean, the last what, half hour. Right? Yeah, we won. It doesn't matter. It's international football. You win, you go through. No, no, all about. The first half was pretty boring. Like, come on. The the other games, the other quarter, were, were, the other last sixteen games were absolutely outrageous. The, Did um, you watch the Ukraine Sweden? Ah, oh, what a game! But I I'm stayed up watching it. and was like, whoa, they that was started the game. living life out of each other. I'm talking about Spain pulling it from the from the brink of defeat and uh, France getting. Losing a free one. Anyway, this isn't about football. It's, it's been it's all right. It's been good. It's 
been it's been all right. <laughs> but we ain't got to talk toys. Oh, Rishi Turbo Man. I'm, um, I'm up for it. I'd love a Turbo Man in my collection. And there's no way I'm spending whatever the price is for a genuine one. I I really 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 dislike the film Jingle the Way, but I like the I like the toy Turbo Man. So. But I'd only want a Turbo Man if it was an original one. I think I think it makes it. Uh, that's what makes it desirable. The fact that they're quite hard to get because I, I mean the toys are whatever. It's just it's just not. Uh, I don't know, it's not good. Well, maybe the reissue will bring the original price down. Uh, maybe, but at that point, what's the point in having it because it's not rare anymore? Because you can still say it's the original one. Well, if not I reckon. Not, um, I suppose so. I reckon it'll still be quite hard to find. I agree. I think they'll get all snapped up. Well, they're, they're yeah. state only. It'd be like a Pokemon rush where everyone just runs in yeah. to get them. It looks like it'd scenes from the film. <laughs> rubbish. I, I just film. hope they bring out the uh, the pink dinosaur thing and just no one buys it. They, they should do. I the reckon people would buy it. And the bag buy, yeah. Definitely think they would, everyone would buy it. But uh, man, it's, that's the problem with toys. Like You could spend so much money on vintage toys once these suits know that there's money to be made. They will always reissue something. So, I feel like I, I, know, I know it's about having the actual ones, but that's how I feel about the reissued uh, Ghostbusters figures. Yeah. It, I, yeah. I, my personal opinion, and I know it's not held by collectors, but my personal opinion is it has devalued the originals massively, uh, and I mean devalued just in kind of like nostalgia value because you're basically looking at the same thing, basically. So yeah, there you go. No, no I agree. I think it kind of puts a same with the Star Wars retros. Like, why would you spend all that money on like a, an original original when you can just pick one up for nine ninety nine? Yeah, and it just goes on your shelf. No, yeah. I, don't know. I think the, the price of Star Wars still hasn't come down. I don't. I don't think it's had that effect I'm, on it. I'm not talking about a monetary value, mate. I'm talking about my desire to collect it. Oh, okay, now, okay. Why? Why would I care about having an original one when I could just I could just get a, a, an up to date one? If you know, if it's your thing, if it's your thing, it's your thing. If you're Ghostbusters crazy, if you're, uh, you know, then you get the originals, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Vic. <laughs> Jeez, bro. One's Vic follows my. Vic follow, uh, whatever Andy's called on uh, Obsidian or whatever it is. Uh, but only... official Soul Nado. It's the name official of his band. Nado, They're going to be huge I... in 2022. I only follow Andy if he promises to buy those uh, Cuphead figures off me because. <laughs> Although it, it was actually awesome having a uh, slab the Viking hug on Saturday, it was uh, it was good. It was good hanging on Saturday. It was emotional. Saturday, Saturday was good. It's good all round. We'll talk about Chatham in a bit. I guess it's good. Yeah, definitely. Right, let's catch up with the chat. Definitely want a bag of yeah. No, I think it's a good thing. Yes, it was. Durable burn. Thousand burn. ghost. How's it going? How you doing, my friend? Looking forward to the... Oh, Bass is going to a toy fair on oh, Saturday. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, I, I presume it's going to be too far, but I'm guessing Scotland? <laughs> or are you travelling down? Yeah, going all the way down to Totten. <laughs> That's on Sunday. You might be having a sleepover. Mm. Right, I'll come back to that one in a second. No, we, yeah, I know, right? It's going to be the same as if Funko took over. Ed, how you doing, my friend? Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm, um... Yes, guys, hit that like button if you can, if you haven't already. Appreciate it. Good evening, Colin. Good to see you again at the weekend. And yes, make sure to hit the like button on the stream. Yes, yes, yes. Like, like, like. Right. Should we show some toys? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone so, want to so go? What, what we did today? We talked about Talk about yeah, we'll do, some pick, we'll do some pickups first, then talk about Chatham, and then do the, the ch toy challenge. Okay, so I so don't don't show your toy challenge stuff just now. No, no. Should I sit here like this though? Brand I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win again. I, I accept. This. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I've got very low expectations. <laughs> yeah. Um, but pickup wise, so I'm still waiting. As I said to you guys. The guy messaged someone that I'm waiting for something. Messaged like, "Hey, how is it? I see it's turned up with the tracking." And I was like, "No, it hasn't." 
And then he messaged me about two hours later, I guess after a massive panic, realizing he hasn't even sent my box. So my box is in the post still from like two weeks. I'm like, man, come on. It's, uh, it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a box though, when you get it, oh. Yeah. Uh, if it, to be fair, if it turned up tomorrow, I'm gonna be, it, I won't be able to keep it till next week. You guys will see it anyway. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this box. So that's, you know, that's still waiting. Then, oh yeah, not, a box did turn up today, but um, it's at my parents' house, so I can't get it. So that'll be tomorrow. But what I did get is my Battle Beast giveaway, yeah. which I won oh, from. Nice, nice. Hold on, hold on. Vintage Toy oh. PDX, I believe nice. it is. So it's uh, the Japanese boxed Takara. What is it? What animal? It, it, it's a mole. Oh, that's cool. But he, um, yeah, I won him. Like, genuinely did win him this time. <laughs> but um, then I also added to the order a la another Laser Beast, which I did not win. I did have to pay for. But um, this one's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's slight, like, red pen marks on his arm. Oh, I can't, yeah. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I see, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was sort of cheaper than it should be, but it, like, yeah, it was awesome. So I added him and him. Nice, nice. And yeah. then my actual pickup pickups, and then the rest is. Oh, no, hang on. Brad the Bear from Brad himself. Yeah. I love that. The Hawaiian collection. For the Hawaiian shirt collection. Yep. <laughs> I, th I think Brad said he might, th he thinks it came out of like Butlins or. It looks something like that, doesn't it? Else. Oh, I can't remember, Brad. Remind me where you said it was from. I think it was Pumpkins, Pumpkins. possibly something like that. Um, but we believe his name is Brad. So there we go. Did you? Um... Yeah, that's cool. Did you get a lot of that Lion as well, or is that an old one? I can't remember. Lion, eh? The Thundercat Battle Beast. Oh, sugar. Yeah, I did get that. <laughs> oh, sugar indeed. <laughs> sugar. Really bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Sorry, I, this was. Did this turn up like the next day after getting it? I was talking to the guy um, for the love of old toys on Instagram because um, I saw that he had them. Actually, it looks a bit like an umbrella in this light, but it, it does look it like. Does. Umbrella. <laughs> it does look like a clown. Yeah, no, okay, it doesn't. It, it does look like Lino, but um, I remember messaging him ages ago when he had them, and I was like, "Damn, like, do you have any more?" He was like, "No, sorry, I only did it like a, a short run." I was like, "Please, please make me one," um, and he did. Bless him. I, I need to keep an eye on that because uh, I really like uh, someone asked, you know, he, he did the demolition ones, but I missed out on yeah. him. But I, I believe he might do an axe smash and crush run. Um, uh, so I would a hundred percent be in for that. Billy Butlin. It could well be. Billy. Butlin. Oh, it's Brad. We're calling it Brad anyway. It's Brad Butlin. Love it. So, yeah. That, yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. <laughs> so, no, 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 I wasn't trying to push you along. That's just a, yeah. Yo, well, Alex, welcome to the chat. Up. How you doing? Retro toy lover. Hello, mate. How's it going? Is that it, Andy? Are you done with your pickups this week? Yes, that is it for now. 87. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Robert, oh, no, yeah, it's the light. It's the light. <laughs> Retro girl, how's it going? I need to watch your video. I saw you post it, but I wasn't back in time from work. I'll check out your video. Oh, lots of people, lots of people. Hello, hello. Damien, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, shall I do what I got? Yeah. Yes. It's, Definitely. It's not been a, it's not been a hugely, uh, um, as you guys know, I am, hey, I'm trying to uh, get rid of stuff, so here's what it is. Um First off, turn up today, and I can only thank, again, thank Brad for being such a legend. But when I finally do resort my toys out and display them better, uh, I'm going to do something with this comic that he sent me as a backdrop. Because mm. oh, it's nice. my my favourite uh, puppet master character. It's actually a really cool comic as well. So, but uh, my favourite puppet master character being Pinhead. So, thank you very much, nice. Brad. I really appreciate that. Nice. Um, I got uh, <laughs> someone on one of the Facebook groups just a while ago now was selling 
some mad balls bits and pieces for kind of cheap um my my body for my screaming mimi head popper like the clip isn't great it works but it's not great so he was selling uh about uh, the screaming body with a different head so that turn up today the screaming uh, turn up the other couple of two days ago screaming body but um nice. hilariously the clip is about exactly the same as the one that i've already got so yeah but you got that for a bargain come on yeah well yeah typical uh, Typical. And it came and it came with a skull face head, which is pretty cool. Um, but I obviously don't I don't I don't need that one. And then Andy sorted me out on Saturday a skull face body, but it has got a broken clip. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll saw the uh, top of the clip off, make it a uh, like a presentation mad ball, and that can sit on the roller cycle, you know what I mean? So I'll still yeah. I'll still use it, so that's pretty cool. And then, um, nice. and then lastly, I can only apologise to uh, Mr. Ryhart, but all uh, uh, fair warning. So you know, I, you know, last week, I, I got this. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's, it's the last one I needed. But I was like, ah, oh, it's a shame to open it up because it's like it's a really nice card and whatever. And there was one on eBay that was considerably cheaper and loose, which wasn't there when I bought that. Um, but I know that I know that Stu needed it as well for his collection, but he didn't buy it, and so it was relisted uh, for even cheaper. And so I sat on it and sat on it, and with ten minutes to go, I was like, "I'm going to buy it." So uh, I also have it loose now. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. It does look cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. So um, I have this loose and on card now. So I guess I'll be selling the carded one because I don't need it on card. Uh, someone might collect them carded, but yeah, so I've got nice. this. And, that, and that's uh, <clears throat> that other than the thing that I got for me £20 challenge, that's it for me this week. Sweet, nice, nice little pickups there. Attendo, how you doing? Pete, come on, you laugh. Some people are drilling out the hole in the head, mm. which is the sitting. I don't, the I, don't see, I don't see the point with drilling out the hole in the head because then you're breaking the head when the body is already broken. You're, you're never, ever, ever going to fix that clip, ever. Mm. Because... People are doing 3D, 3D printing ones. You can... Uh... What, for, what, and, what, and then take the whole body apart? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. What real collectors do, Dan. Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Right. I'd rather just get a junior hacksaw and uh, hack the uh, stem in half, but it's just me. There's a thousand nerds right now crying out, ah, oh, disturbance so, in the force. But what's the difference between that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, you're going to damage one either either way. Yeah, they're broken. Surely anyway. you, you couldn't you yeah. couldn't fix the head if you drilled it out. Surely that's it forever done, because the spring is in the head. Yeah, I, mean, I get what you mean. I'll, I'll do I'll do what I want. Don't judge me. Oh, it's your boy. Do what you want. And the person that sent those, hey Brandon, um, Brandon because sorry, it was a bit Brandon. late because they were ill, as I guess as to make up. They also sent me something <laughs> that I really like. It's it's one of them eyeballs in like a plastic casing. You know, that oh, yeah, yeah. I just like it's like a, a real sweet executive toy while I'm working, just flinging that around. So that's cool. Can I just ask something quickly? Yeah. Was one of the things you were given at Chatham? Saying part of your twenty pound challenge. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Because, yeah, that's right. That's okay. That's cool. The that's only cool. thing I've been given. Big, the thing I was given that we were mucking around with, yeah. 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 Cool. What? Okay, that's just checking. Don't, Andy, here's a clue, Andy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> And Andy, for a second there, I saw the shock in your face if you've been left out of a joke on Saturday. I was like, <laughs> but, oh, awesome. All right, cool. I'll uh, show some stuff off. Um, uh, the Boba Fett Black Series deluxe figure that I got the other uh, while back now. I finally opened him. That's cool. So uh, he is a uh, very cool figure. Uh, I put his uh, jetpack stuff away, so completely forgot to have that ready. But he does look really cool with all these accessories on. How many more accessories can he have? He's got a um, he's got a clip on, 
bit there to be like you know when he fires his rope out and it wraps up yeah. his goal. Yeah, yeah, you can clip that onto him so he's like firing that off. He's got a flame thing that clips in there, so he looks like he's got a flamethrower. All right. And he's got uh, there's I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, Jeff there's like holes. Right. Yeah. And um, there's like little blaster things that just go in there to make it look like his jetpack's working. Oh, oh. oh okay, okay. My, my question is, how many more Boba Fett figures can they make? I think the answer is infinite. <laughs> yes. Well, there's the, uh, the there's the controversy now with Boba Fett and his and his ship. Why? Oh, what? what? Oh, oh, have you not? Yeah. Have you have you not heard this? I I, so, I heard it and moved on with my life. I don't really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Le- Lego brought out a new set. Right. It's Boba Fett's spaceship, but they've yeah. taken out called they they've not called it Slave One. Right. They've called it Boba Fett Spaceship. Okay. So loads of people have lost their mind. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where I sit on this. I'm too tired to think about it properly. Yeah. But when you went and when I was more pointing to the fact that because you just mentioned how much more Boba Fett stuff can they make? A hell of a lot more because <laughs> they have to bring it all back out again. Yeah, they, they can remake well, from with different lot, names. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there'll be some some far right extremist group in the middle of nowhere, or or or, or start a, 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 like a, a thing called Fett, and it'll be like, well, we can't use that word anymore. So that's <laughs> yeah, all right. Dave the Bounty Hunter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> when you say bounty, no, I'm not. Oh yeah, crap. No, then Cabries will be suing you. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, they brought out a new updated 3.75. I, I know we all moan about them, but I do have to admit, each time they bring a figure, uh, they bring it, it does get slightly better each time. So, like, but well, when you say how many, when you say how many Boba Fett figures do you have, I'm looking over here now, and I've got one, Is two, three. Is it just three. the paint that's the main difference from the one, the Germany celebration set you've got? The Boba Fett with the carbon light. I'm looking now. I can't get it out, but yeah, pretty much the paint. I think it's more movable. It's got um but it's the updated technology that they use. But they've got just smaller children painting them, so it's more accurate. Can't who knows? That, can't oh sorry. That's why it can't be called the slave one anymore, because that's who they use to paint it. <laughs> yeah, Donald, how you doing? <laughs> I realised the other day I've got a uh, I've got a one sixth uh, Boba Fett sideshow yes figure um, oh yeah hundred percent going to sell it yeah it's really cool but I don't know. might have a look I don't, yeah. I've got no space for one sixth yeah you have get rid of, yes. get rid of everything else <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> right that's, that's yeah, probably pretty nice though. oh guys I have gotta say oh uh, we'll finish this first and I'll tell you what what but, uh, yes um, the Mandalorian Fett is going to be uh, that's going to be another Fett that I buy. Fat fat. It's a, yeah. Boba Fat. Also, uh, so this all turned up today as well, not yeah, today, the other day. So my expanded universe black series turned up. Yeah, that's what I've got waiting for me at my parents' house. Yeah. Isn't this about twelve years after I got my one? Yeah, I'm not sure how yours turned up so quick. How strange. Uh, but um yeah, you might have got imported stock. Sometimes some of the uh they're more expensive to buy, but they actually like imported. Like if we went and bought some stuff from America, they bring it over. Instead of waiting for Hasbro to join in, but yeah, it's pretty bad. But I don't know if anyone else has got them or your one, but my Velcro doesn't stick very well to the box, so it's almost pretty much pulling the Velcro off the box every time I open it. Yeah, you got to be, yeah, mine's it's, all right, always... but that does no, mine's all right, but that does happen. Yeah. That's why you just That's open it. it. Well, I'm gonna be opening them, don't worry. Well, but and also. God, just... You can put a little bit of glue behind the uh, Velcro, glue it back on. Cool. Yeah, I like him. I do like a Royal Guard. I mean, they, they do look awesome, but I don't under, like the boxes actually do look quite nice, but I don't understand the Velcro thing. Because you say, I think it's, it's to just make, I think it's it's to make them display. look like a book. Yeah, it's a higher end display thing. The, ne- the next step up, in my opinion, is when they put magnets on them, when they flop but, around and go boop, boop, and open up. That's an awesome box. But again, another one. Has anyone in the chat? Is there Luke Skywalker? My Velcro one is on the bottom. Hmm. Every other one's on the top. 
I don't know if that's just the same or is it just yeah, crazy rare variant. Or have I got this crazy yeah variant that's now all of a sudden right. I'm going to get it graded and be worth a million pound. Or the yeah, other way around. Disney gluing it, it just got whipped and he put it in the wrong place. Bless him. Worthless, worthless with the velcro at the bottom. Throw it in the bin. Yeah. And then I got uh, Bucky out here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting him. Velcro at the top. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might actually. Um... Andy, have you ordered these? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not, not all. I've only ordered um, Jackson and Darth Maul. Oh, okay. So I might, I might get rid of the Jackson one. I kind of, you know, you, sure, you, you know when you like, you know when you're just like, oh my god, these are amazing, expanded universe, way, way. Then you order them, and then now, like, what four, five months later, they've turned up, and I'm like, why? Yeah. Why did I? Anyway, well, I, so, yeah. I, I do know, I do know, mate. I did, I did the same thing yesterday, didn't I? Got all overexcited yeah. when uh, someone linked me to a. Um, I think it might have actually been Smuggler's Canyon. Apologies if it wasn't to a new. Uh, a Patrick Bateman one sixth iconic figure that's coming out in August next year. So I pre ordered it immediately for 320 quid for the next day to find a place that was selling it for 215 quid. Um, painful, yeah, yeah, super reverent. Hey, dude. Toys, how you doing? Oh, Spider-Man yes, Marvel. yeah, that, that would be, be cool. awesome. And a black, <laughs> and... sorry. What they could do with it, right? We all, as people, it's just popped into my head now. People talk about like um, builder figures in Black Series, and there's not really much Star Wars characters you can do it with. Dude, one more spite, body, one more yeah. body, three different sets of legs. Ah, oh, be well, good. yeah, that's what I'm saying. A, a builder figure, Spider, uh, Darth Maul would be awesome, yeah. But but if you have one with interchangeable bodies, so you could have Darth Maul, Spider, Darth Maul, and not final form robo, but do you know what I mean? You could have like the different different versions of Maul. Yeah. That'd be well yeah. good. Yeah, maybe, maybe the actual Maul that has the main metal legs. Mm, maybe yeah. he can detach from his torso and then you get the spider legs in all the other figures. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be proper that. I'd love that. Have, have they done the black series, like the bigger size ones, whatever it is, six inch or whatever. Have they done is it Sat Savage Oppressus? No. Savage Oppress? Not yet. Yeah. And they That's haven't done Talon either, yeah. have they? So they, they they're bringing out the same species of what Maul and Savage Press are. Yeah, they're Savage. bringing out like a the Savage. They're bringing out a um like a run in the mill, like a just you know like one of the background guys. Same species. Yeah, uh, he's one of the games. Um, basically, they're like bad guys, like cannon fodder in one of the games. So, so everyone's hoping now they've brought that one out, they're gonna hopefully bring a a press out. Which would be awesome. Yeah, yeah I'd like that. But even I'd like a Talon as well. Is it Talon? Talon? I'm oh. still waiting. I'm still waiting for the Aura Sing to be released as well. I've pre-ordered that. Yeah, Talon would be good. A Cage Skywalker and a Talon would be good. Which is why I kind of really was up for backing these expanded universe ones. Because I thought if oh, if they sell out, people buy them, snap them up. You know, they might actually make more. Which they they might be as well because they're um. I think it's that Yak Face. Um, account Knights of the Old Republic is going to have its own Black Series line, which I'm so buzzing oh. about. So yeah, um, really cool. Carlos, I'm I'm surprised you didn't like um, Fett's new look in the Mandalorian. I kind of uh, I kind of digging Dad Bod Boba Fett. Gave me hope. <laughs> <laughs> pop up, pop up a comment, Aaron, when you're done with that. Which one? Uh, above, poor Rick. Oh yeah, sorry. Yep. So I emailed um, Megalopolis Toys today, or Premium <laughs> DNA, or whatever you want to call them. And basically, I know that I know that Rye has he's already started the process with his bank of getting refunded because he's like convinced and rightly so that they are sketchy. So I've I've made the decision that I've, I've I've emailed them and said you told me I, I ordered these in August last year, and there's been basically no updates. I emailed them in in March or April, and they said we'll be shipping in June. So I, I emailed them today and said um, you know tomorrow is July. Can you just confirm that shipping has started? And if not, can you advise me on how to uh, uh, begin the refund? 
um, process uh, before I have to go through my bank, basically. I suspect I'm going to get a holding email back saying, uh, oh, no, no, they're, they're coming, da 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 But uh, I don't think anyone's getting these figures, dude. I think it's just a massive rip-off. They've taken all loads of, like, forget about, I'm not going to forget about, but they're taking orders and loads of money for the um, battle toads. What happened to the Barnyard Commandos? Yeah, they disappeared. But I don't even mention those anymore. At least Mad Balls, they still, every now and then, because, even... Was Barnyard Commando still part of Megatropolis, not premium that, DNA or whatever their doesn't name, matter. name it's, is? It's, it's, the, it's the same thing. That's the problem. It's the same dudes. Uh, they folded one company, took loads of money, took it over to a new company, but that's the second time they've done that is what, what I'm understanding. So um, obviously I've got, I don't want to be libelous. I don't, I don't know what the reality is. All I know is I've asked them... Uh, when are these coming out but i'm not alone everyone's asking for refunds everyone's saying there's been no update in photos you can't just put a photo up that the same photo from november last year of like seven or eight test shots and be like look they're being made cool yeah. seven yeah. or eight are being made you, you need you, i need to see boxes of hundreds of these things you know what i mean you you would think now by now they'll be like pumping out videos of them being made and like or, the process or, or the whole process of creating it or, or at least one email or update to their Instagram or whatever to say, guys, we know, but this is what's going on. If yeah. they said like coronavirus has knacked our process or whatever, people would be understanding, but radio silence, pushing people, oh, it'll, it'll be May, June, July, like, and, and they have previous. So I suspect I'm going to have to go for my credit card company to try and get my uh, cash back. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be successful or not, but I need them to email back. I'm hoping they email back with like a negative, do you know what I mean? And, and say, Oh, you know, it won't, it won't, it won't be till whenever now. So I can yeah. use that, send it to my, you know, basically the fraud company and be like, oh, I've been ripped off here. But yeah, I don't think Seems anyone's fun. getting them, man. And then Andy, when I go, when I do that, I'll speak to you because we have to speak to that dude that runs, uh, yeah, um, uh, into the verse toys because I, I need, I want my money back from him as well. Yeah. Basically, so, yeah, it's not good. It's just, yeah, you know, also, it's kind of a, they're bringing those kind of centurion inspired. Someone yeah, else is doing that. That's, not them. that's another company. That's different company. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But it kind of has a knock-on effect, doesn't it? Because all I, of a sudden, I'm, people stop trusting these. I'm never yeah, going to... Those saying. guys, I can't remember the name of that company, but they were under a lot of scrutiny, for again, for the same thing, not updating pictures. But they have started to update pictures. And they have started to be a lot more open with their process. Yeah. One of the sites I'm on, or groups I'm in. But I missed my opportunity to get them, which is a bit annoying. But um, they... They look good. Oh, I, 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 works out. I wouldn't worry about. I wouldn't worry about it. They'll be around on the second, on the second, uh, like wave market. I'm never, I'm never pre-ordering from America again. Mm. Um, Europe, I would consider, not right now because it's a nightmare, but yeah. uh, it's just too much hassle. There you go. Right. So, sorry, yeah. sorry, Porik. I think the answer is probably we're all going to get stiffed. Is the answer to that? Hey, Jen, nice to see Jen. you guys on the weekend. Yeah, great nice to see you, on you guys. Saturday. Great to see you guys on Saturday. Darren, did you have anything else, or was that it? Hey, right, man. Uh, that was it, apart from challenge. So yeah, Stu, don't, don't go back to the start and watch because I, I did, I did, I did a terrible thing, and I'm sorry. But, but you, but you didn't buy it. He, he relisted it, so now I have two. So I apologise. <laughs> Okay, Aaron, if that's you done, just going to quickly jump in uh, as, yeah, with Aaron, uh, Brad's comment. Also, I've got to send a little, the, to send a little the parcel to Brad. As, it looks yeah, so, as well as getting Brad the Hawaiian bear uh, in the parcel, which was huge, because I, I knew I was getting that, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, Brad's parcel was huge. Good to know. That's what his wife says. There is a, um, a little treat for all three of us. He sent us like, I guess collage is the way the way to describe them. Uh -huh. oh, that's cool, isn't it? Oh, no. I can't. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see them, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, I like you got the Thank you got very much. Message of what was your favourite wrestler? It made real sense, and now I kind of feel really like lame because Brad was like, "What's your favourite wrestler?" And I was like. Don't really. I kind of already join in with it, Brad. You, Brad, you missed out. You missed out a classic opportunity there, of uh, of Aaron going. Oh, I don't not really that into wrestling. 
just sending a, bl a blank frame because ba 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 could have uh, sent an, an original John Cena. Well, I kind of wish I said Trish Stratus. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, right. <laughs> but then also in the in the box there was uh, this for Mr. Aaron. So it's a, a Mac, yeah, McDonald's Mighty Ducks. These Mighty Ducks. Oh, nice. It's a. It, it looks like it's a duck on a puck. Yeah, yeah. Mighty I did say that right. <laughs> a duck, duck on a puck. On a puck. <laughs> yeah. Like there's there's it's crazy. Yeah, there's, so next time I Brad. see you, I'll um, I'll give you them. Once again, Brad, you spoil us. Thank you very much. You are you're you're a naughty man, but it's very much appreciated. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm looking at it now, going actually, it's quite cool. <laughs> you're not getting that. No, 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 and, no, and, yeah. he's, and, and he's gonna be like, oh yeah, I sent it Hermes, so it will come to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. just, just just the empty bag on your doorstep. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, I don't know what happened to the, to the duck on a pot, but yeah. So yeah, so that was uh, that was a, a few extras. All right. So um, crazy, I think chat, crazy. I think. Oh, here we go, man. I, I guess is that your, yeah, your bait, man. I I don't regret ordering it. I don't regret buying it. Um, I just regret not doing. I spoke to the guy that runs Nerd Toys the next morning and said, like, listen, and we've had a good chat, and I still like, I'm sticking with them basically let's leave it at that that i'll i'll pay the extra i i enjoyed his customer service it was very prompt and and uh yeah yeah a guy called, called jason i guess he runs nerd toys whatever but i will be next august tune in 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 a year and a bit's time to see that <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that like well price but also the problem with, with hot toys is that you know you you pre-order them and you got to wait a year and a bit for it to turn up, yeah. or you take the gamble that it's not going to go up in massive price on the secondary market. Well, the trouble is with these ones because they're um, they're because they're not hot toys or sideshow. They, this is a company called I. Yeah, there's Rain Man, um, Iminimi, and there's, there's lots of different companies that do good good figures. Yeah, if you kind of don't get in on it at the ground level, they can either become incredibly expensive, like uh, or. Uh, you just can't get them, you know, like they don't come over to the country. I, I, yeah. I'm annoyed because I took for like 90 quid. Some will come in who was now, um, Red Man, I think it was, made a uh, a really good Tallahassee from Zombieland, you know, the Woody Harrison character. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cowboy hat, and you know, uh, and it, it was literally called like Zombie Survival Man because they have they can't <laughs> use, you know, they can't use yeah, the yeah, names. Yeah. yeah, if you can find it now, it's more like 220, something like that, and uh, yeah, there's not really around, but yeah. But no, thank you, smugglers. I appreciate the uh, the thought, and uh, yeah, hundred percent, we'll be getting it. Already paid for. Mister Blue Harvest Toys, how you doing, my friend? Hello there, Dave Wild Toys. How you doing, mate? How's it going? They were the frames. Yes, they work. Or oh, Brad, seriously, man, I appreciate yeah. that. Mm. I appreciate. It. I'm gonna. I'll get Andy to send me a close up picture. Um, yeah, but so well, if, if, if you manage to meet up on Sunday quickly before I go to work, I'll give them to you. But if not, it'll be. Yeah, we still got our still got our graded stuff with you. Yeah, I know that's in the cupboard. I'll get that. Um, actually, remind me if we do meet up, make sure I bring it. <laughs> I'm not right. <laughs> Sue, how you doing? Lovely seeing you again on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, lovely seeing you guys. Lovely to see you guys. Um, I hope you did really well. Had a nice spot as well. Like straight away when people walked in. I do think they've got quite a nice pitch. Yes, I reckon. I reckon that's prime. That is that. That's the same spot that those guys were in last time. Apart from apart from Robbo and uh, Robbo and Ken, who uh, snaffled all the people, were like, "Oh, I didn't know this was on. Do you guys? Do you guys buy vintage toys?" They're like, yep. "Yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, right? Marquez, how you doing, my friend? Picked up cyberpunk figures for ten pound of B and M bargains. That's cool. Like, that'd be cool. That would be cool to a. Uh, Grab the um, Keanu Reeves one, in fact, if that's a tenner. Mm, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Lost. Any Back to the Future figs? Uh, you have to go Necker, really, if you want Back to the Future stuff. I, I, I won't buy anything. I think you mean we bought any. Or do you mean just in general? Just in general, oh, I think. You know what? Sorry, Jackie. just remember, talking about Back to the Future, right? Playmobil did Back to the Future stuff. Mm -hmm. which I remember being in like Tesco's, they've done Ghostbusters, like 30 quid, 40 quid. It, it seems a bit over the top, but it seems okay. Did you see the price of the 18 van? 
How much? I checked on Zavi. I think it was sixty nine pounds. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I know. Just worked out that it's worth a lot more than they've been charging. The 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 Playmobil Ghostbusters firehouse was like nothing when it first came out. It was like twenty thirty quid or so. Uh, Back to the Future, as you know, I despise the Back to the Future films, but it it annoys me. There, there's like no Chris. There's I've, there's only one Crispin Glover film, uh, Crispin Glover figure that I think that I know of, and I own it from American Gods. But Crispin Glover, like, there's no Back to the Future figures of Crispin Glover who played uh, Mike McFly's dad. Why is that? Maybe because maybe you should hook. Figure, I guess. Hmm? Is he a big part of the film? I can't remember it. Well, he's Mike McFly's dad. Yeah, like remember, so, if he doesn't get with Mike mom, McFly's mum, but Mike McFly's mum's more interested in getting with Mike McFly, which is one of the many reasons the film is utterly weird, mm. utterly utterly weird. Um, but, but yeah, she Crispin doesn't. Glover. She only knows him as Calvin Klein. There you go. Yeah. I only bought from I only bought from Nerd Toys UK a couple of times with the customer service's quality. It really is, man. He he got straight back to me like within minutes and we had a good conversation. So yeah, recommend. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. All right. We'll leave it there for a second. Because we got a challenge do I? Oh, chat and Twiffer. Hmm. Yeah, it was I, excellent. Yeah, it was really yeah, good, huh? Good I had a really good time. Uh, check out my video that I posted. I tried to get around and it was actually busy, so I didn't get a chance to go around properly like I like wanted to. And uh, I think he's so, managed to leave us at the stand for a long time. You know, oh, well, I didn't manage you know, to get away. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, as, as it was your first one because you were at Brentford for the first one of the new rain. Um, I really like the new setup with it being inside that shop. How did you feel about it compared to the the old setup? Pros and cons. What were the cons? I like, I do like the gazebos. I hate I the gazebos. Really? I, I love the gazebos. It. I hate the gazebos. The, the lighting don't work. You can't see nothing. I'm about eight foot, so every time I walk underneath it, I smash my head <laughs> on it. You can't stack anything high at the back because the gazebos tilt like that. The, you really you like you you like the gazebos. It makes me it makes you feel like Goonie Gate again. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I might have, to, might have to mute might have to mute him for a little bit. <laughs> Right, you might have to put it on timeout. No, I just like it. It feels more like a, like a booth sort of thing. What the gazebo? Yeah, but that's just. I don't, know, I don't know. I disagree. I preferred the yeah. yeah. But to have it in an actual a new shop, I think was nicer, especially for when they can sort of, you know, there was more of a follow like a pathway for people to walk through and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think it worked really well. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was a real good show. And I like the fact that uh, Ken, obviously Ken and Rob had the two stalls right out the front, but the big yeah. sign up toy fair, I think. I think, yeah. It felt, it felt like a small version of a real toy fair um, yeah. as opposed to previously where it's absolutely, it's, you know, it's a great show and Adam does great, uh, great work and I'm not knocking it at all. But it was something different than a toy fair. It was more like a toy market, which is which was still yeah. awesome. But I do hate those gazebos because I'm too damn tall. Well, I'm short and I don't like them. Well, there you go. <laughs> I, we're, we're like we're like it's like Goldilocks. Aaron's just right and he liked him. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, hundred um, percent. Last Saturday of July will be the yeah. Next I one. will be there first. I think. Huh? Yeah, thirty first is the last Saturday this time. It's written in my book. It, it is the uh, Saturday, the thirty first of July. Yes, will be the next oh. chatter. We need to start getting a, uh, a voting system if we're going to get a pog table going. Yeah, yeah. if you want to come yeah. play pogs with us, let us know. I don't know if Adam will be up letting us do that, but we're going to do it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm tubed up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a five pound buy in, so five pound gets you 10 pogs. <laughs> the, the house rules, yeah. If you if you bring Tazos to a table, you're going to get ejected like Jazzy yeah. Jeff yeah. on the Fresh Prince, like <laughs> well, when he gets thrown out of the house. <laughs> and we it's uh, it's underground pog rules, none of this, uh, none of this federation rules. The first, the first rule of a uh, pog club is um, no Tazos. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring Tazos. Tazos is fine. 
Ed's going to be there. If Ed's going to come all the way from Belgium to play Pogs with us, no one's got any excuse not to be there. I love that. We what? need to make a special pog table. We need to, you know, like I used to have a poker table when I lived with my brother. Like that's what you need. You almost need like a felt to it. Yeah. Because uh, if it's too hard, it all pings everywhere. Oh. If it's too soft, it just disappears. Okay, you can be in charge of that. I just want to. It man just wants to play pogs. I understand. Again, yeah. I, I, Andy grew up on the streets, and he, and he only knows street rule pogs. Street rule pogs. He sharpens the pogs. Throw them at each other. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the playground. Right. Twenty pound yeah, challenge so. then. So, All right. hold on. Could I, I real quick answer, Stu? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, just real quick, dude. It was on for a whole. It was relisted. I didn't think you wanted it, and I apologise. And I will hook you up with the Kylie one if you want to rip it open. But I haven't got it in me. And uh, yes, yes, the Bateman is iconic studios. Please do not tell me you can get it for like fifty quid. Thank <laughs> you. Just keep it yourself. <laughs> I've just dropped three hundred and twenty quid on it. So. Uh, Anyway, the Pamaslama. Oh, that, well, that's like we'd have to mount that in like a golden. If you win the whole tournament, you win the Pamaslama. Oh man, I'll be. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll be going five bogs now. I'll make sure I've got enough bogs to lose. Until and, I Andy's, uh, Andy's going to be on like an eighties pog montage between now and uh, <laughs> 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 lifting trees up in the forest. <laughs> He's the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep him down. He's the best. <laughs> Uh, Sue, don't Sue. Adam's not speaking to us because Aaron planted a. Uh... <laughs> Again, oh, we forgot about that. Oh, I did not. Yeah. Who, I, I Adam, haven't com- in the shop, or did you tell someone to bring it back to him? I haven't commented on that yet. <laughs> I noticed that uh, I've just kind of ignored it and hopefully it'll go away. Uh, I, have, I have my ways. That was that was funny. Basically, right, Rise Toys and Model, Rise Toys and Mo- Rise Toys and stuff has created a monster by mucking around with me and Andy and now Aaron's fully involved and now we're starting to make fake figures and plant them places basically toy fairs aren't about selling toys anymore they're just about irritating each other so Adam, <laughs> Adam hiding yeah the worst behavior was had by all. <laughs> I, like I wonder what all the other set there he is I wonder what all the other <laughs> sellers thought when uh when they packed up and realized that almost every stall had an Empire Toys Woman for eight sticker like somewhere <laughs> on their table <laughs> that wasn't me though <laughs> There isn't. I don't think so. As the as the um as the the thin man, whatever he's called, I don't think there is, dude. That would be more, a very good one. That would be a good one to start Glover, with. More Chris McLover figures. But yeah, Aaron. So you're you're not doing the thirty first, are you, Chatham? Nope. I'm surfing that weekend. But me and Andy will be there, and uh, Rye, and maybe even at Andy the Viking, if we're lucky. Hopefully. Right. So we d- we agreed to do a twenty pound challenge. So twenty pound or less for the belt. I don't know how we're going to decide who wins this. Uh, maybe people can put comments. So don't necessarily comment in the chat. Stick a comment on the YouTube thing um, and we'll give it a week. And then, like, you know, two people will bother and Aaron will win. <laughs> Standard. Uh, Saying what? So don't comment now. No, no, what comment now. Oh, I'm right, comment, comment now. now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Comment now. Yeah, yeah. Vic, comment Vic, now. If Vic's still watching, can she tally them up? Because I can't keep count. I don't know. Vic, let. let... Let, you, let us know if you're still watching. If you're still watching, yeah, if you're not, great. don't worry. If you're not, I'll, I'll keep. Yeah. I've got a pen, so I'll, I'll keep you that. So, so yeah. Andy, <laughs> I've got a pen. I'll write me on. No, no, hang on, yeah, hang you on. go first. It's just I'm not going to win. Defend, oh, defending on, champion goes. goes. Defending yeah, go champion on, goes first. Defending champion. Right. So, first of all, in my twenty pound challenge. Okay. Also, guys, don't vote until everyone's shown everything off. So these both were free. So uh, thank you to Mr. Andy Toys and Models for hooking me up with a Green Ranger that I didn't actually have. I thought you stole that from uh, when I watched your video. You just plucked it out of his box and walked off with it. <laughs> well, I, I could, yeah. And then criticised it after saying, oh, it's got got loose legs. It was a freebie. <laughs> <Yeah, isn't it? laughs> a bit loosey, but, you know, it's, it's what I expect from Andy's Toys and Models. But it was nice of him to give it for free. But, uh, yeah, so that, I appreciate that. That's the bit I expect. From my, I, I don't expect it to be knackered from Andy's Toys and Models, but I do expect it to be free. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh viking andy who was with us as well uh had one of these in his had a little bag to sell to make to sell some stuff and he had a triceratops power ranger zord the foot uh apparently picked it up for like the car boot sale for like 30p so he, uh, he just gave that to me so i've added that to my challenge cool i 
killed two birds with one stone because I traded a street shark that I had double off for this bad guy. So uh, I've got another street shark for the challenge and haven't Perfection. spent any any extra money out of that. So I've still got eighteen pound, I think it is, left. You've spent <laughs> two quid on street sharks so far. Yeah, amazing. So yeah, happy with that. I, I actually quite like this one. He's not. I actually it's really nice. Pretty cool. Batman like leather jacket. jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I completely sh forgot to show this off in the chat and video, but uh, I paid. This is actually this was paid for, so I got this uh, for Vic as a present. But I'm adding it to my challenge. This is awesome. Disney Club cartoon cup. That's, that's pretty cool. That is actually quite cool. Is that Chippendale, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin? Tailspin. That is yeah. King Louis. But, so it, um, it actually came from Walt Disney World on Ice. But um, I don't know if this was... Is it made in the UK? It doesn't actually say. That's very nope, cool. It's made in Thailand. But I don't know if this was sold in the UK or like sold in America or whatever it is. But um, yeah, obviously she loves Tailspin, so... Happy Did wife, it? happy life. Yep. Don't tell us. No, I've just got the, the, the song go through my head. <laughs> this, uh, this cost me £12. So to make up to my 20 quid. I only really wanted it for the lamppost thing, but this awesome Spider-Man set. I'll make it a little bit bigger there, so. That is cool. But he, like, swings from the top. He, yeah, he is actually really cool. When you were taking it out of the pack, I was like, damn it, that is really good. I've, yeah, I didn't realise how cool it would look like once until I built it. But you got all yeah, the street shines. Did you get the other one with it? The other set with it? Yeah, yeah. I I thought they were all together, hmm. but it, it, it wasn't. They're two different sets. Is that but, part um, of the challenge I, as well? Yeah, yeah. But what I liked about it the most, I didn't realise this. So this got this little newspaper stand for the Daily Bugle. Yeah. It actually has a mini a newspaper Daily Bugle. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Who yeah. is Spider-Man? Yeah, I know. I love that. Cool. And then this, I thought the whole set was together, but it's not. But this is pretty cool. So it's a train cart here. But it's actually a, a play set from Spider-Man 2. Yeah. So you've got these uh, Doc Hart octopus arms. You've got little uh, things at the side here that you can move it around. Uh, on closer inspection, it's actually missing two of these arms, but it's not yeah. the end of the world. But like I said, I thought the whole set was together, but it turns out they are two separate sets. And it goes together, makes a cool little train cart. Yeah, that's cool. So, happy with that. So yeah, also, I don't know if anyone in the, ch all the brainiacs in the, uh, in the chat who know more about toys than we do. This was in there as well. Make it big, so that no clue what it's from it looks very like neckery or spawn it do you know what i mean like my father yeah. or something like that but i don't know what it's from but i'm assuming it's not from spider-man but not necessarily yeah. the green goblins got or something like that but no i don't think so no hmm. there's no markers almost, in it like, almost looks like skeleton warriors almost yeah it's like some sort of staff spear or i don't know if yeah. it could even be like you know like a torch goes in there or something i don't know i just thought if anyone knew what it could be so what was your that's spend? my 20 pound in total All okay right, there we go. that's it you want to go you want to go andy yeah i'll go uh so i also got a couple of freebies which i'm gonna add mr ken i know it's not really well i don't know actually can i even class it because it's a oh, i didn't realize that it's not a toy yeah, it's all right. We, we, Aaron's no, on stationary, don't worry about it. This is true. We'll give it a go anyway. It was a freebie. So, Defenders of the Earth, which is pretty cool. Uh, I watched that actually the other day. It's like six or eight episodes all into one. It's um, yeah, pretty cool. Turns out I don't remember it as well as I thought I did, but it's a pretty good car thing. Uh, and I've got a free little Hawaiian shirt, man, which I've, I did actually have, but I didn't remember I had it. But it's the Ben 10 Grandad, I think it is. Ben 10's dad, something like that. It's not. It's, it's I uncle. swear, I is swear that figure has turned up like seven or eight times. Maybe even at car boots we go to, and we every time I look at yeah, it, I'm yeah. like, 
Does Andy have this one? Yeah, no, no, no. I know I have it. I, I'm he's pretty, he's yeah. got it now. I think it was. I think the guy's name's Gary. But it's, I, Ga I, it's, it's, it's Gary Pendergast, isn't it? The guy with you. That's what I thought, but then there was Daniel something was also there. So I'm, I'm a bit like I got confused as to which one. But either way, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. I, I just I'm so bad with names. But yeah, so I, maybe I'll start an army of him now. Who knows? Um, but then the main thing that I got, which was fifteen pounds spend. From Mr. Daniel himself. I'm so good to you, aren't I? The roller cycle for the Mad Bulls. That is cool. Um, I bullied you into buying it, didn't I? Peer pressure. Well, I mean, I'd say peer pressure, not really bullying. Uh, I wanted it. You just sort of egged me on to get it. <laughs> kept, kept dropping the price. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the price did come down pretty good. But um, well, it makes sense. I've got them, so why not get this? Hundred percent. So that is my, that is me. So a Hawaiian shirt, dude, uh, a cartoon film, and the roller cycle. Nice. That's cool. Are uh, some of these stickers from Ghostbusters actually, or are they actually all Mabels? I believe they're all Mabel stickers on it. Yeah, I believe. I love the massive, like, huge one wheel at the back. Yeah, because yeah. it's a roller. Yeah, just rolls you over. Yeah, <laughs> love them. Um, all right, we'll do, should I do mine? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, my uh, my I, I spent my twenty pound all in one go with uh, Ken from Back to the Toys. Uh, who is? What did you get? You know what I got because you got annoyed because you wanted it. Oh, you're putting that in. God damn it! I'm put. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's a line. Uh, four four horsemen do a line. The Mythic Legions guys uh, called Gothitropolis. They don't anymore. They're long sold out and ken managed to get hold of one uh somehow somewhere uh and it's a very small one but i like it a lot it's called a timekeeper and uh he did me an absolute absolute deal a mates rate special deal and i got it for him for 20 quid so if i can get that without the glare i'll get that take it out man come on sorry yeah we've got, we've got to enjoy it no i'm oh, joking don't, if you don't want to don't no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take him out to avoid the glare but i wait he's he's like He's pinned into the box, but so that it won't get glare. That is cool. That's cool. Oh, figure, it? How? Why did I not just get? I don't it? know. I, I tried to get Andy to buy. Oh, no. it a week, and he was like, "Oh, no, I don't want it." So I bought it. Um, and that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. But the absolute—I I don't even have to enter that because I'm going to win with this one thing that the uh, the legends uh, that are Barney and Charlie or two can play at that gave me after a conversation that they they were involved in on here several. Uh, Several weeks ago, half a condom. Yeah, it's simply that. <laughs> it's simply You're right there, Andy. Keep... <laughs> Are you guys ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm, I'm... Oh, I've got to do it again now. I got you. Got to warm these things up. Old, old, old condoms. Hey. Oh, there it is. So, uh, I just this is just awesome. It's just the best thing ever. So yeah, it's an old. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Popper. Pop. Yeah. Pop, popper. Yeah. I, I used to. Yeah, this was like currency when I was at primary school. So uh, it was a. Uh, it was hours of fun at the toy fair. We were just. Yeah. Pop. Just, just massively enjoying uh mucking around with this. So, thank you very much for that. So my. Oh, that was a good one. That's a good one. Oh, so yeah, nice. So I'm, I'm putting in one actual toy for 20 quid but i don't feel i need to because i've got that which was free from uh barney and charlie and very very much appreciated it's awesome so that's what i'm putting in all right guys uh voting has opened the voting has opened voting has opened so uh get your votes in now so let's know who you think has won this challenge you know Shark. Voting started now, Brad. We did. We did half an hour of voting because at ten o'clock I'm going to bed. All right. Well, let's yeah, see if so, it yeah. even works. So we'll, we'll we'll what should we give it fifteen minutes? All right, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes of voting. Yeah. Let's let's up the ante in my. Look at the cup. Mad ball. I'm gonna that I'm gonna dark. I'll keep a. Uh... Andy, you could have even kept technically gone for this 
uh, cup as well because uh, one of the Chippendales has got a. Uh, I know Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian Someone shirt. was selling like a Funko Chippendale the other day on the groups, yeah. but I, I, I had to refrain. Refrain. Wait, Mickey, refrain what? myself. How does that go? I'm winning. I'm winning four two currently. What? Four two. What? Oh, oh. Four. Aaron's got two. And he's got one, which is definitely a sympathy vote from uh, from Ed. It's not Ed loves metal. Oh my god! Right, if this works, if this, if this works, and I don't break the popper head, and I don't break anything in the flat, then I think I should get at least one more vote. Here we go. Does it work? It does. Yeah, it should work. <laughs> should work. And I didn't break anything. It definitely will work. I'll give you. If, yeah, it don't work. Brad, I'm not on six, mate. I'm on eight. Oh, I should have that bloody thing. <laughs> could, could, this be, it, could this be twice in a row? Andy uh, has lost out because he didn't buy something. Because <laughs> he didn't buy the Batman suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn Good it. Ranger. I feel like a winner even if, if Andy wins. I feel like a winner because I sold you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if, I'm I win, free. if I win, it's because of this little beauty. Look at yeah. that. So good. Uh, I think I saw people commenting saying the um, Mythic Legions figure was too cool. It is pretty cool. To be, to be honest, to pick up Mythic Legions is an awesome find. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron for, Aaron's got one. There you go. I'll keep an eye on it. Damn it. No, I've got, him, I've got my, my little mad bull mummy stuck on the thing. Just playing with it now. Just message Rick to. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, sorry, I'll keep it. I'll keep it on it. I want to be fair. Yeah, I want to be fair. Hang on. You want to be fair? All right. Well, I've got nine. Aaron's got four, <laughs> and Andy's got five. That's where we're at. Oh. Andy okay. Viking, vote for me. I'm your bro. He's not watching no more. No, no. He's, he's tuned out. He's asleep. I got let down, let down by Rye there. Rye, Rye voted for, uh, I think Andy because he likes yeah. the Madbulls. Well, Carlos has got me. Carlos has got me covered with the cup because he obviously knows swag more than you guys. Is it? Right. To be fair, but to be honest, to be honest, I don't actually mind if Dan Ooh. wins because uh, it still means I'm ahead in the leaderboard. Oh yeah, Ooh. I could win. I could win like the next five or six, and I'd still be the bottom of the leaderboard. No, you've got, you must be probably doing better now. Well, I've, only won, I've only won once, and you two have both won four times, haven't you? No, I've won five, and he's won four. No, yeah. Something no, like no, that. I've won four, and he's won three. You've won once. Yeah, I've only won once, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was like the shortest one. We literally did it a week after a week, so I had it for a week. <laughs> to be fair, this has only been, what, two weeks? Uh, yeah. Maybe three? <laughs> no, I was it, was, it wasn't like Andy who just, like, you know created a whole pandemic to lock everyone down to hold on to the belt you had the belt during the pandemic you had the belt during the pandemic no not the start of it you had it for the long and... bit and he just had it for the first couple of months no yeah because i'm sure you've had it longer than me he bought it to, he bought it to the car boots when they reopened oh what <laughs> andy the viking <laughs> kicking me while i'm down i've lost my pen oh i've got it everyone we were friends <laughs> I thought we were friends. Yeah, yeah to be honest, I think if Andy was playing this game, I think he'd win. But no, I don't think so. His pickups were super rad, but they were also all more than twenty pounds. That's actually very true. They were expensive. That um, that Terminator Two arcade game he bought was brilliant. Well, the, the I mean, I'm not a big gamer, but the box from Resident Evil Two looked pretty sweet. And he's holding on to that power glove for me as well. So that's <laughs> yeah. He's, I, I believe he's keeping the power glove. I believe so too. That even Kieran admits that the Mythic Legion is a step off from the Hellraiser figure. So uh, Aaron had the best value. Oh, it's not about value. It's about quality. It's about quality. I'm not what says quality right. more than this guy wearing Retro a white shirt nice. judging you. This he's, look, he's just looking at you. Look, I managed to incorporate two challenges into one by getting a street shark. Hmm. So, a challenge also, you set yourself. That shows you're good at begging. 
it's it's a self-imposed challenge as well just because uh just because the people have uh sent me stuff very kindly sent me stuff remember remember does does there's one have a uh a mini who spider-man paper it's just a piece of paper andy look what happens when aaron starts to lose his grip on the title yeah all right can you see it can you see it that's right when you uh when you get up into my league of title wins He's 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 the he's the Liverpool, but like two years ago. Oh, back in the eighties, we were the team. We were the boys. Sorry, guys. Uh, I wasn't even alive in the eighties. So sorry, Granddad. Sorry, Boomers. No, no. It's weird that you talk about toys in the eighties when you weren't born. Then I don't. Oh, <laughs> do you know what I, thought I didn't show off. Oh, like not show off in like we, but like the Demolition Man figures again. <laughs> oh, what? Because you could talk about the grading now. Yeah. So Andy's Andy's done oh. a little video. Definitely recommend you'll go and watch it. Of him. Well, yeah, because I can't get them now. They're in the cupboard with the aliens. They're not even out. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, Andy's got a new video out on Andy's Toys and Models YouTube. Definitely go and watch that. That's him talking about his grading shenanigans. See what he got for his demolition man figures. And Aaron's got a new video out of a uh, of um as much as was possible to get of uh, of Chatham, but it's, mm. it gives a good idea of kind of what the. I also um, I also uh, filmed up at a. Uh, did a little quick tour of Zook's shop. Yeah, he didn't show that though, no? Sorry. Oh, he's getting in trouble live on air. He's about, get, see, this, he's about to get absolutely what happens. slapped. Ah. Well, see if you would see if you would count the votes. Oh, I'm sorry. I was washing my hair. Oh, oh I've excuse. heard that excuse several times. No, that excuse every time. Yeah. <laughs> I've already I've already counted them, guys. It's all good. It's, be- it's better than a headache. Oh. Uh-huh. Mr. Geek Life, a hundred percent. Aaron is saying that we're old. A hundred percent. He says it all the time. <laughs> I'm, th- I'm thirty-nine <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still thirty. Yeah. Well, Smugglers Canyon's got it right. I accidentally just smashing half the audience there. <laughs> oh, you guys are old. Oh, is it? Remember this, guys. Remember this next time we have a little votey challenge and everyone's like, oh, Aaron got, got a good bang for his buck. We're like, yeah, but he's like 12, so he really cares, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we look like little right. jamming crying at the arena yesterday. It's all right. When, you, when you're asking me how to sort out your technology next time, I'll remember this conversation. I never will, mate. I never will. I'll, I'll just I'll smash it and put it in the bin before I ask for help because that's what real men do. Um. Yeah, Pete, Peter Higgins knows it's all about the popper. This was this this was genuinely back in like back in the late eighties, early nineties. This was. Wait for it. It's gonna go. Oh, can you feel the tension? Yep. Don't look over it. Don't look at it. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Take it into A and E. Oh no, he's one of the first is like we haven't seen an accident like this since like <laughs> the early nineties. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> since that kid came in with a push pop lodged up his nose for some <laughs> yeah. oh, the popping mechanism is just too strong. I don't know where it's gone. I'll find that later. That's well, that's, I, that's I never thought I'd hear that being said. Yeah. The popping mechanism is too strong. The popping mechanism. Louis Phillips is reminding us. We were going to mention it because I do believe that myself and uh and and that youngster over there, he's gonna he's gonna basically it's gonna be like escort your granddad to a toy fair day. I'm, <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, take, I'm taking the old man out for the day. <laughs> he takes me because we get we get a little special meal, an early bird special because I, yeah. I get food early. Senior discount. <laughs> I, I get a senior discount. He gets a little bit of cash as my carer. But yeah, me, yeah. me and Aaron are. Me and Aaron should be down there for that. Andy won't be because he does like I don't know, he has a, a job or whatever. <laughs> it's not his job. Well, yeah, it, 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 it's called a job, but it's more like hell. Yeah, <laughs> it's more like yeah. hell. But yeah, so Tot and everyone get that get yourselves down. Tot and Toy Fair. Yeah, in Tot, a good one. Yeah, on Sunday it will be a good one. I think Rob, uh, Sue Sue selling. I think Robbo selling. Um, trying to think. Well, I don't think the Bugsy Boys are, but Ben might be there as a guest. Yeah. yeah, I've seen. I know. 
guessing Louis Phillips is a seller. I can't think of the name. Big Bad Buddha Toys or something, is it? Big Bad Buddha Toys. Is that the name? I think I've, I've seen it on Instagram. It comes up with the top yep. of it. Is it? Apologies if it's not, and I'm sorry. Tell, but, tell us who, if you're selling Louis and who what your Instagram handle is, and we'll go, oh, yeah, we follow you. I can't keep... Yes, yes, Big Bad Buddha Toys. Hmm. I get confused with who's who, uh, especially with the masking. Mighty Ducks. I don't know. I'll have to see which if it's a version. I've got one. I've got two glass. Yeah, don't, got give two. It to him. don't give it to him for free. Charge him 30 quid. Yeah, stop, stop with all the kindness to Aaron. Jesus. He's the youngest out of all of us. He's rich. <laughs> None of us are rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kieran's got it right. Parent and child parking can get a bit closer to the front. <laughs> Yeah, but the two of you are too tall. That would work if you were with me. Be the short one getting out. Uh, like we can park somewhere differently if we uh, had you. Hey, who's, no. who's <laughs> out of us, we've got the wrong cars. You've, I've got like a child's car. You've got the you've got the parents' car. You've got a, like a smart. Um, yeah, that's because. Car. Yeah, that's because you can't get down so low to get into the. Uh, it's because it's because you've got re- you've got really your boy racer car, mate. Yeah, it was never really a boy racer car. Yeah, oh. but uh, I went for practicality. I didn't. And, co- and, and comfort. I went for uh, I went for like three miles to the gallon. Sports waste of time. I went for the cheapest option. We're, we're rich in spirit, yes. But Andy, at least your boot locks now. That's something, isn't it? Yes. Dude, the doors lock. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got uh, three minutes according to my clock to get your last minute votes in if you haven't already. Well, it's going to take a big swing here. I mean, it could happen. Aaron's on five, I'm yeah. on nine, and Andy's on six. Ooh. So it just needs three more people to vote for Andy, and it'll be deadlocked, or four more to vote for Aaron, and it'll be deadlocked. And if it gets deadlocked uh, with, with the person that has the belt, then uh, they get to keep it. Oh. So if you haven't voted, now is the I think time. My, uh, I think my double reign is uh, is well and truly over. Quick reminder that I got an actual cool toy because Andy, for some ah. reason, is allergic. Quick reminder, I, I, got, I got this off of Dan via peer pressure. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I forced him to buy that off me. Yeah. No, no, well, you're right. I do need it. But, uh, yeah. You have also now got to find the net, though, is the is the problem. Well, do I? Um, no, no, you don't need. I'm just going back through the chat. I think there were some old questions that we... 1984 right. is a good year. Especially April. Grant, if you're still in the chat or you are watching it back on catch up, uh, I don't know. Did you Not buy those at... other arrangers you were meant to buy? No. Didn't you didn't you didn't pay for the pre orders? Well, I, I pre ordered them and I still haven't fully paid for the pre order. Right, okay. Um, okay. I've, I'm so over them. Kind of just plucking out the courage to maybe phone up the company and be like, uh which, which ones night. are they? Which which ones that have you pre-ordered? They're like the the retro flip ones. Oh, I remember. Yeah, they look oh, really mate. funky. Like you yeah, you don't and them. you don't need them. At the time, it was one of those. Yeah, that's amazing. And again, it's just got to the point now where I'm like, I don't really want them. The, the reaction Power Rangers are nice. Is that the one? Yes. Super, are they the Super, Seven? Super Seven? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so I many. Um, I think so many toys were pre-ordered. During, like, especially the yeah. first lockdown when everyone was like, Oh, I don't, there's, I don't know, uh, don't know what we're gonna do, don't know what to do. There's nothing to buy, there's nowhere to shop, nothing's going on. So people just pre ordered stuff and they look at it and go, Oh, kind of, uh, wish I hadn't now. Yeah, you know, right? Um, but it is good, but the price point is ridiculous, it's like nearly 50 quid a figure, um, for basically figures that I already have. 50 quid for which ones? Or are they 45? Oh, God. For the, the Super oh, 7 cool. ones, the the, the 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 proper ones, not the reactions. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. No, the uh, Ultimates. That's what they call them, isn't it? Oh, right. Like, like, okay. Yeah. 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 If yeah, it's like like the the Thunder... and that stuff, yeah, then, yeah. yeah. About 50, yeah, yeah. 60 quid. How much have you got in? How much, you, how much, if you paid up, how much would you be into these? Well, Money wise. Well, I haven't paid anything yet. Well, how much would you have to pay if uh, 
you went through with it? Uh, what for the pre-orders or for these new Super Sevens? Sorry for the for, sorry for the pre-orders for the pre-orders. It's only like forty quid, I think. Mm. It's not it's not end of the world money, but then I've got better stuff's come out since then. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, but yeah. already, so I'd rather just use the money in like my uh, Tengu Warriors that I think is going to drop very soon because they seem to be on the shelves at Walmart. I just um, and I've got another Black Series on order. I'm just a bit over Super Seven. I know that's like such a snobbish thing to say. I'm just a bit over it. Like the figures are great. The new Turtles ones are they're just great, but they're cool figures. I'm not. I'm not going. Yeah. The, the the one I am interested in is the uh, the Zord, the Tyrannosaurus Zord. Okay. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm still. I don't know. At, at the moment, they've released all the same figures that I've got in Lightning Collection up here. Mm. Maybe if they released a few different monsters that the Hasbro aren't releasing, then I might think about it. I really wish it. they'd released the like Arnold Schwarzenegger sounding armadillo. Yes. Oh, Lizinator, I think it was called. Oh, was it Lizinator? It might be Lizinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there was definitely a, there was definitely a uh, baddie that yeah. sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's stuck in my head since watching that episode. Like, love to get a figure of him. I don't care if I've got no other Power Rangers. That 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 would be quick. That'd yeah, be what? So. Quick Good. To be honest, I, I rather, for the price point, I rather pay a little bit more and get like a f um, fig arts figure. Mm. SH you've fig got, arts. You've got that, you've got that nice um, green. Well, ranger. Oh yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got the green and white ranger fig arts. No, you've got the, no the three. Uh, no, you you, you pre-ordered the three zero one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the three zero one's the uh, the six inch. But that's what I'm saying. That that green ranger that pre-order for the six inch uh, six one six sorry or was it. Yeah, one six. Yeah, it's just twelve inch. Yeah, yeah, is a hundred pound. Yet the Super Seven group is nearly fifty quid. Do you know what I mean? It does. It doesn't. For me, there's no competition. You, you're exactly you to go one to exactly. One yeah, pop, poppers are different in my school. Retro ghetto as well. Yeah, I was, I was we at popped that, poppers and then we popped poppers. Yeah, yeah. The Mad Balls thing is. Um, tedioso at best so i'm just uh scrolling up through the comment there was one earlier that i went to come back to oh there it is from mr badger's toys did not forget you has anyone got any idea when the ukg will be taking orders again no i i I'd probably give it another month that sign went up on their website uh, when do we sent ours off in March? Hmm. Then I think it was April. Maybe they put that sign up on their website saying they're not yeah. doing anything. And we got them back in June. So even when they were doing July, stuff, it was three months. Yeah. Huh? July? No. Yeah. Sorry, we're in June. Yeah, we're going back. It's, June. Not, it's not July yet, mate. <laughs> yeah. No. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Nearly. A few hours. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just keep an eye on their website. I guess maybe another month. Two. Problem is, as soon as they open it, open it back up again, there's going to be another mad rush to get him in. Yeah, from Andy getting all his Willow stuff graded because he's, he's, he's no, 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 there's, there's, there's one particular item I want to get graded just because it I, I want it to look it looks nice. But I've, they've they've said to me they've got to come back to me with the, the size because it's small. I was going <laughs> to say, but do, do, do you not feel what's nice about it is the nice acrylic case it's put in rather than the fact it's graded? Uh, I want to get acrylic cases for some other stuff, yeah. but I want that and I want something else graded. Just, okay. uh, I don't know. It was more to do with the excitement of like, what have they said? If it's no. a, if we get it back and they're like, like you're, if they came back, it was like a fifty. Then I'll just rip it out of the case. That's that's never but, gonna happen again, mate. That's a once in a lifetime thing. That is, people still can't is, believe it got graded fifty. I'm pretty sure people are still talking about it now. It's it was it was the hot buzz on the internet. That's why I, I couldn't you know couldn't open my gram without people messaging me about like you got fifty oh. That's good. That's it's, it's, it's super rare. They ironed out the card. Like, I mean, I don't understand how you got an eighty. I think that is insane. But I don't good. consider it turned up in a jiffy bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, Power Ranger monsters have been dis. Have they really? Is this uh, is this confirmed? Because. Mm. They made a massive big 
I don't know. And I've seen pictures like of ones to be released that are like leaked pictures. So who knows? Dude, dude uh, yeah, Badger Toys, do do the Coneheads. They were really nice cards, and I think they're unpunched if I remember rightly. One of them was, I think. I think one was, one wasn't, but definitely yeah, they were very tidy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think I should. Right, guys. Um, you, you both lost. Do you understand that? I'm going to say, yeah, I think I, I didn't lose. I came second. Title. That's true. And I'm going to cut it in half with a big, uh, a big pair. Remember, of... remember, remember, guys. Like, I, I, I'm not disappointed, but this guy has threatened to destroy the belt as soon as he wins it for like the last months. Well, if you guys see each other Sunday, you can do a passing of the belt ceremony. Ah, he'll, yes. he'll forget it. He'll forget it, and then one of you will win it back like two weeks later. Because you know I'm gonna, <laughs> I am gonna, I'm gonna smash it. Or I'm gonna modify it to add my uh, my logo onto it. Somehow. Well, don't. Why don't you just say that? And Please why just don't you take one of your cards to it. Just, like, just strap a card like, to the back of it, yeah. so I can hold it up the wrong way around. With just the. <laughs> why don't we um? We need to get the new belt into circulation. We do. We need. We need. To, we need to. Um. Yeah. We need so, to get that going. So yeah. Don't don't add your one to this one. Add add it to the. Save it for the new one. I need so, to yes. get some stickers made. I don't. I don't have any stickers. Oh, congratulations to um, Mr. Down Plastic for winning the belt. Thank you very much. Uh, all oh, all oh, all oh. all banter and jokes and all that aside, well done, mate. Thanks. I'd like to dedicate this victory to uh, Ken Bats for Toys for knocking a huge amount of money off selling this to me. And for Andy, for uh, not we'd be bothered to pull the trigger and buy it for himself. Well, look, I'm pretty sure you'll sell it in a couple of weeks. So, no, but I, mainly, um, mainly to uh, to Barney and Charlie for we know what actually got me the victory there, and that's this little baby. You mentioned uh, Re retro shed, uh, re retro shed, retro ghetto said uh, he wants to do sticker swaps. I saw him one of the comments like ages ago. So if you're still there, yeah, we'll oh, do man, that. Don't have to, don't have to swap. We'll sort you out with stickers you anyway. Stickers. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I, I need to. Yeah. Uh, I need to. That sounded uh, really get... sarcastic. Back <laughs> I need to get some stickers printed. I don't. I don't have any stickers. I've just got my awesome business cards, which are the worst. Just send them a business card and some print stick, and be like, "There you go." <laughs> bit blue tech. So, a DIY sticker, mate. I'm old school. Make your own stickers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, mate. We'll see you on uh we'll see you on Sunday. Yeah, we will indeed. Mr. Geeklight, have a good rest. And uh we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. Yes, well done, Dan. Congrats, Dan. Thanks, guys. Dan. Honestly, Dan. Thank you. Dan. Thank yeah. you play like that. This is the best. I uh, genuinely the best thing I've had for ages. It's awesome. It's cool. Oh uh, yeah, remind me and I'll give it to you on uh Sunday. Cool beans. Nice one. I thought it was like that the best. <laughs> tough love. It's a tough. It's tough love from Kieran. He well. critiques my selections, <laughs> but that's yeah. okay. We, we do. We, we'll sort some swaps out, Mister Retro Ghetto. Mm. Well, um, I'm so I'm waiting for you to ask me to do the voiceover for the uh, the intro. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm in practicing. His well, intro is well, awesome. I'm going to ruin it. I don't want to disclose too much information, but it, it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be an accent. I want it to be one of those uh in a world. No, it's like a rap. Oh. Oh. Okay. I've often thought to myself while I was hanging out with you, Andy, this man should rap. Right? <laughs> I don't wear my t-shirts t -shirts for nothing. <laughs> I just uh I as soon as I uh like you know. You just always your life's always remind me of Eminem. So I just thought, why didn't you just start always. rapping? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> yes, congrats to Dan. G G G. Yeah, is that good to go? Good to go. He's gonna rap. Oh, just gonna be a G. I was like, yeah. Can you can you do a can you do a um. Rather than rap, can you make him do like variations of really bad new metal songs? I was reminding myself today of uh, you know, like, you know, uh, Papa Roach, Last Resort. Love that song. Don't. Yeah, but, but, but it's funnier if you sing, "Cut my slice into pieces." This is my raspberry tort. <laughs> I've uh, I've got I mean, slightly excited that uh, 
Limbiscuit are performing a play next year. It's I'm getting insane. my uh, dude. I'm down. I'm getting my I'm red. Well cap. down for Let's it. Let's do this. And and this work. This work. Feel my age because because new metal was a, an affront and an abomination to proper metal. Even when I was like 14 years old, it was. Blah, blah. You can. As I say, Smugglers <laughs> Canyon. Yes, I agree with you. So Aaron, yeah, he's upset. I mean, we know he's upset. That's all right. I'm not upset. Just disappointed. He's upset. He's living. He's not upset. He's disappointed. He's disappointed. Because when, when, when that belt is cut in half and you're all sitting there going, oh, why did he do that? <laughs> like, when he said it, I won't be like that guy on, I like that guy on TikTok. You know, the guy's like really famous for like doing the, you know. Yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, he just, he's people awesome. do life. People do life hacks and like film it, and then he right. just shows. But then he will be like, you like don't need he'll just do, you don't need the hack because like life just easy. And he's, at the end, he's just like, <laughs> okay, you know, you know, someone someone's like life hack, like op open your open your letter with like just like overcomplicating stuff, and he'll just get it and go. <laughs> I think there's one where someone gets like table uh, table uh, ties and table table ties, yeah. table ties the uh, to this glass to make a handle, and he just picks up a like he, glass, I know yeah. he, he just uses his hand like that and just yeah. picks up the glass like that and he drinks it and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, okay. So, it's yeah. better than me and Anna making it sound. It is genuinely yeah. Quite good. He's actually really funny. Yeah, okay. I'll take your word for it. I use the face as well. Okay. yes guys uh we'll wrap it up here so thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it hopefully uh uh get down to Totten toy fair at the weekend um come and see us at Totten. Will be there. yeah uh if you're uh, baz whatever toy fair you're going to on saturday good luck with that yes um and happy whatever hunting. you're doing this weekend happy hunting i hope the weather uh sorry, sorry i just no i'm gonna get i'm gonna get it graded mate Gonna get it graded up. That's a, that's a that's a twelve percent. That is get get graded as an original uh, WWE tag team belt. I'm sending in a uh, carded yak face uh, to get graded. I've, I've got a case right here. Look. I've got a, I've got a deflector case, a DC case right here, oh, ready for it. Wow, love it. Thank you very much, Smugglers Canyon guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really, again, like I said, happy hunting at the weekend. I hope the weather holds out if you do go to the flea market to the boot sales. And uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Well, see you next week. Next week, no, it's football on next Wednesday. Oh, is it? I've got a funny feeling if we go through, how do I know this? I'm pretty sure if we go through the games next Wednesday, oh, is it? If if England are playing on Wednesday, we would not be on. I mean, I would be because I'm not into it, but these guys, man, they let you down every time. I'm not going to be here. Andy, <laughs> Andy, Andy, it's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. <laughs>